Hi everyone, I'm Annie here. Yeah, today I would like to share with you all my project. And yeah, I alter this macaron container and I use these two polka dots to to make a bow and yeah at this organza flower with the tangle beads yeah very simple just make like so and uh, open up inside I just stuff the goodies and use the paper towel to cover it up and yeah this is a very simple give just a gift box okay and I also alter a a well uh, shaped box in this soft lavender color and yeah this is one of my favorite colors and I'll show you the top first and this all can serve uh, rose yeah you can get this from my store uh, still available in this color and this is my handmade organza flower another one and I yeah on the top I use this two to uh, cover the uh, the top here and use the, also these pocket dots or cancer to make a bow and add this little flower or cancer flower here another bow here and you can see underneath I added this uh, sequin with the appliqué yeah, from my stash like so and yeah I show you the pictures uh, before how it looked like before yeah I altered the, uh, before the box the original box I mean yeah uh, for, uh, the pictures later I finish this I will show you the box okay I mean the pictures <laughs> you can see the underneath I added this screen applicates here like so and the bottom uh, yeah, bottom part here I just cut apart yeah the these uh, sequin applicates here at here and uh, I underneath I use the pocket uh, I mean the acrylic paint to cut to paint the box after that I use this to to cut the layer the box uh yeah sorry before that yeah I saw layering with the paper uh, I can see I hope you can see it is the paper the other yeah it's a uh, I print up from Pinterest the after that I yeah just use this tool to tie a bow here and this side just like so yeah very simple and yeah fun to make this pretty box and I did have a cancer here and this side I show you uh, yeah both sides also add here these organza applicates here I mean the sequin applicates and the bottom I forget to layer the paper later I will yeah print out the paper and cover this ugly part here <laughs> uh, okay and open it up it's quite tight because I'm layering the paper and I just paint with the this color like so Okay, and I didn't do anything here because yeah, just too much. It's really hard to cover up if I yeah layer the paper too thick. Okay, what I did is I make another rose against a rose here, and I add this gorgeous uh, lavender tangle lace. Some more all in this purple and yeah lavender color this big sequins and this also metallic yeah shimmer ruffle trim and this is one of my favorite you can see the rose to that here this organza trims and this is also the shimmer and this is a uh, organ I mean the uh, 
this. Uh, chiffon rosette, yeah, mini rosette cream. And uh, so you can see uh, this match this color or in purple color. So, okay, always oh, very bright purple, but it's very uh, elegant colors of this. Okay, this is the purple box. And put all these purple uh, and lavender color item in this box here. So it's yeah pretty. It's so it's, yeah it's quite a bit tight because the paper because layering of paper you can see this like a lace pattern yeah print up from Pinterest it can cover up okay here you go like so okay this is my Lavender purple project and I will come back again to show you my another projects and okay and okay I'm back and yeah show you my another new project and yeah this I ordered the jar and uh yeah get inspired get the idea from Pinterest and also from the video that I yeah I forget who who posted the video yeah I just uh, love the idea and the video that she show how to do I mean how to alter the uh, job and actually this is the photo yeah for you can photo in the job and I make it uh, as a like a Tudor theme okay and the color you can see is very soft color and you can see I use this let me just show you this the blue one first and I use this you can get this applique yeah the pastel blue from my store and the top here is a ruffle lace yeah also get this you can get this from my uh, store and I alter the appliques and use this uh, appliques flower to make this okay on the top uh, the base I just use the cream like a yellow yeah cream yeah spread up the jar okay it's a glass I mean it's the glass jar okay and the trim here i will list this trim in my store soon i love this pastel you can see it very soft color and bottom i didn't do anything on the bottom yeah and yeah you can see i put the uh let's see the tilda image okay inside yeah you can put any photo you like and actually I make this for my sister-in-law and I will put her beautiful pictures in the jar yeah you can open it up like so yeah you can change the photo or you can put some goodies in the jar and this person uh, pieces from the stash and this one is from my friend from India Wandana hi Wandana yeah I love the flower it's a button yeah plastic button okay so this is the back here love it and this one is a pink and actually this uh, the original color is a white and I hand dye it with the pink very soft pink okay also the same I use this trim and the top here I use this uh, crochet flower for my stash and the underneath these pieces is from well Wilma hi Wilma yeah she sent me from the swap rack 
okay and I add these resin rose on top here and this side also use the same shabby shake trims here okay and actually yeah you can put your jug like this way let it stand like this way okay and you also can you can see I add this here the uh, I have to do this to that yeah and yeah you can if you yeah cost also yeah from I then the idea from the video okay you also can display your jar like this way okay yeah and you can see how I add these buttons little, little tiny buttons here and this is the back here this one I yeah cover the bottom because I will display it like so okay so shall be soft color like so okay this is my to shabby Tilda Otter Jack and yep I uh yeah just like I said I forget who posted the video on YouTube I oh, know I mean on Facebook yeah I just love the idea and okay and I will come back and show you another project and bye for Okay, I'm coming back to show you my another auto uh, jar. And yeah, this is unusual for me. <laughs> and you can see the style, yeah, the color. Uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, this is the third project that I made in... Uh, I mean, not a uh, shabby shake. Yeah, I think this is the third or fourth project that I made. Yeah, I seldom don't make uh, this kind of project, but because of this, yeah, I made this for my sister, and she's not really uh, like something in laces or girly stuff. So that I make this for her, and yeah, I didn't use any lace and flowers. Yeah, all I use is the metal pieces. Yeah, from my stash. Okay and let me do zoom in and show you yeah on the top here this is the coffee jar uh, bot, uh, I mean yeah coffee jar that I collect yeah collected yeah okay and I paint I paint it in silver after that I use the this uh, foil tape yeah and let me do okay and i use all uh, this kind of the foil tip to and i use this embossing folder like a music note okay to emboss the i can see show you that's so and i just use some black to yeah just touch up like so and hung the chain here and just hung some of these metal pieces this cupid and I love you and yeah this look at the yeah this lovely couple's pictures here and the key also in the yeah and fall in love work yeah something like so <laughs> And the top, I use all these metal pieces. You can get this from my store. Okay, and yeah, it's just so simple and easy to make. And I will put in the pictures in the jar. Okay, and show you. I uh, think better not, yeah, cause yeah, I have to ask their permission first. Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, like just now I mentioned this, you can get this from my. Uh, shop okay and like so and yeah I will come back and show you another project okay 
Okay, and I come back and show you my last. Yeah, but not this. <laughs> yeah, my project to show you. All. And yeah, this is the Marie Antoinette team. Okay, let me to show you. Uh, one by one. Okay, let me to show you this first. Okay. Okay, this is the. Need to adjust camera. Yeah, I ordered this. The images is made uh, Marie Antoinette. Okay, and yeah, first cut the roses, and you can see the yeah make her the yeah hair we use the yarn curly yarn. That's so, and order it with this uh, flower to that from my stash, and here with the lace. And this is the dress, and I add this tassel underneath it. Right? Under, yeah, the bottom here, you can hang this as a uh, wall hanging or something like this. I, actually, the back here, I use this is the like a disposable, uh, like a wooden spoon that I purchased from Daiso. Yeah, the back is so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> to show the back, but I just want to show you what I used for the, uh, I mean the base, okay, just like so. This is the um, tassel, okay, and yeah, and this is my another crochet basket, okay. This is the peach, uh, peach color, peach color crochet. Basket is this is quite big size. Yeah, I don't have a ruler here, but yeah, this is the quite big size that I make. Yeah, this is the larger size that I crochet. Uh, yeah, this basket. Like so, yeah, I have the tutorial for you all for the small sizes. So small size. Yeah, you can check it out, and I will uh, pop the link below the description box. Okay. And the corner here, I added this Alcanza okay, Tangle flower. You can get this from my store. And you can see, I add this uh, sequins applique yeah, from my stash around here for side. So, so, yeah, okay. And yeah, this is the team. And yeah, I feel in. The baggy, yeah, this I ordered this, and this is uh, actually it's uh, original color, it's a white color. And I uh, strawberry tea dye this, and I learned this, yeah, I use a uh, strawberry tea uh, from my dear sis Shoba. Hi, Shoba, yeah, she say, yeah, this, yeah, so uh, you can see, hope you can see it. It's pretty, yeah, it's just slightly, yeah, you can see the uh, pinky color. Yeah, dusty pink, something like so. Okay. Oops. Okay. And one is let me do grab and show. This is the different color. You can see the slightly different color. This is like like yeah, the pink, and this is the page color. And yeah, order it. I use some yeah all these laces for my stash. So yeah, order the. Uh, this Becky, okay, and inside I don't show you, yeah, because I stuff so many different goodies in the baggy. Okay, and this way, let's so, yeah, other different pattern. Let me just show you this focus here. This one, let's like so. And like this, so stuff in my. I just keep this my water spoon here, and some more this pattern. Not so this, and this one. This, yeah, you can see this basket quite big enough to carry so many this in okay and I also ordered this lace spool 
with this or oh, this is the I some of the laces I tea dye and some of them those are I avocado dye so yes yeah, you can see the like a vintage color so and let's see the yeah so can carry this so many compartment here later I will show you the basket I just show you the all this so here is all my avocado tea dye vintage laces here okay okay let me just show you the basket first okay yeah this is the basket here you can see it. yeah I, this is the base I didn't cover and because yeah and yeah I want to the this basket more strong enough to carry so many yeah good see it I make it stiff so that I just add the cast stock between yeah the the compartment the yeah, crochet I compact yeah how to say yeah the divider okay and this I added this uh cream colors mini rosette trim you can get this so I have carried so many different colors on in my store yeah this is yeah I quite I just yeah so this is one of my favorite trims yeah I love to use this it's called because the sizes is quite suitable for so many different yeah if or for your projects okay it's a one two three four five six seven seven compartment here this looks is stiff yeah so many so that you can carry your some even something heavy stuff okay okay this is another jar that I ordered and yeah it's the Marie Antoinette team and this is the photo yeah in the jar and what I did is I can see I layer with the this fabric uh, lace fabric okay and this side I just use this yeah same as the this applicate from my stash and <laughs> like so and the bottom I didn't do anything okay and the top and this is my yeah handmade uh, rose yeah this is all cancer and yeah uh, out. this is avocado dye and this is the tea dye okay and before that underneath you can see I uh, uh, layering with the applique and some uh, doily okay and this is my tassel flower and this is the last pieces in yeah from my stash and I add this tassel here another applique this side and I layering with the this bit of lace I think if I'm not mistaken it's wash and me this yeah like so and the inside the jar I just add this Marie internet uh, images I can open it up and change the pictures. You can also can carry uh, the. You can put the candle. Even, yeah, and also you can change the photo. Different photo inside. Okay, just like so, and it's quite pretty. And I love how it turned out like so, and very well to yeah. It looks very well to go with this basket. Yeah, this team and this another tassel. I mean, my handmade tassel, like so. Yeah, oh, this is my handmade uh, projects, and I do really hope you all like it. And yeah, I hope you can get inspired from my projects. Yeah, from the video. I mean, yeah, also, yeah, from my projects. <laughs> okay and yeah please feel free to leave me a comment and i really appreciate it each one yeah yeah for you you to taking your time to yeah to leave your comment and all your kind comments are all always appreciated and and yeah if you like my projects and give me a big thumbs up and yeah that much appreciated 
and thanks again for everyone for stopping by to my channel and for um, welcome to uh, all my uh, I mean welcome all the new subbies and yeah thanks for your for your kind of yeah support and yeah and thanks again for everyone and bye, -bye.